Hey guys, it's Jane. Um, just a quick, super duper quick one this week. I have got three books that I finished this week to tell you about, but I'm only going to tell you about, well, none of them in any great detail. Um, the one I just finished is The Secrets of Jin Shay by Alma Alexander. Um, I read this for my In Real Life book club. It was a reread. I didn't really enjoy it. I'm not going to waste any more time talking about it. Um, but I have written a kind of review of it on Goodreads. So if anybody is interested, you can go. I'll link below and you can look and see what I wrote. The first book that I finished this week was Michael Chabon's Moon Glow, which was a corker of a read. But I'm not going to tell you about that one because I'm going to do a standalone review. Uh, hopefully I'm going to film that this afternoon and I'm going to save it for a few days and put it up um, next week because I'm actually away at a conference, um, a big uh, mission conference, which I go to every January, which I'm really excited about. I'm doing that for the second half of this week so um, I will have it put up while I'm away so there's not too big a gap between this one and the next one that I film. So I'm not going to tell you about that except it was great. But the second book that I finished this week I will tell you a little bit about. It's this one. Um, Shane Maloney's Something Fishy. This is the fourth or fifth in the um, Murray Whelan series. I picked it up uh, at my library. They were having their annual summer <laughs> library book sale and I went in to pay the fines on my kids' library books and I saw this and I picked it up and she wouldn't even take any money for it um, because I was paying off my fines at the same time. So I got this book for free. Um, I didn't mean to reread it straight away but you know I was waiting on the bus on the way home and I just like glanced over the first couple of pages and I was sucked totally in. Uh, this book was published early 2000s like 2002 or something it's set in the mid 90s uh, it is just a joy it's a thriller sort of detective-y sort of series uh, it's probably my favorite uh, crime series set in Melbourne and seeing as how I got this book for free, I'm going to give it away. I'm going to do a little giveaway. Um, you know, not that I'm totally cheap, but here, yeah, you know. So anybody who is at all interested in reading a story that's set uh, partly in my hometown, Melbourne, and partly, uh, and it's in the summer, and, and what happens in the summer in Melbourne is that everybody who has the means leaves. And most of them go down to the beach, uh, not too far from Melbourne. A lot of them go to my old hometown, the town that I grew up in, which is mentioned in passing in this book, although it's mainly set um, in another town uh, very close to the town that I grew up in down the coast. Um, so they're almost everywhere that's mentioned in the book by name is somewhere that I went to as a kid. And it's, it's, a, it's a very, very fun. And also very Australian story. So if anybody's at all interested, um, put your name in the comments below. Of course, you'll need to give me some sort of postal address if you're the winner so that I can get it to you. Um, and at the end of January, I will pick a winner by some random method to be assigned. So that's it. That's it for me today. I hope you're all well. I have no idea what I'm going to read. I'm feeling I, I've been slogging through this um, Jin Shay book for the last four days. And <laughs> I thought it would never end. But book club is on Tuesday, so I had to get it read. And now I'm feeling <gasps> the weight of the world off my shoulders. So I don't know what I'm going to pick up. Um, but I might not have a lot of time to do reading today because um, it's actually my wedding anniversary today and we've got a babysitter coming and we're going out for dinner, which is a little bit fancy. Um, so if you've got anything exciting else going on, whether or not it's book related, I'd love to hear. I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.